reporting killer storms. And those storms are not over just yet. Cities torn apart after taking a direct hit from rare winter tornadoes. They're now bracing for more of the same. Among the places hardest hit, Harrisburg, Illinois. 175 mile an hour winds, two football fields wide, less people dead. Homes were shredded, a strip mall flattened, entire buildings knocked off their foundations. It's just unreal, it's like a war zone. Somber Saturday morning as hundreds of thousands wake up to sheer devastation. This entire town's all gone, flattened in a flash. This massive storm spawned more tornadoes in one day than we usually see in an entire month. Here's what we know right now at least 29 people dead. The second round of killer tornadoes just this week. Uh, 95 tornadoes ripped through yesterday. If those are all confirmed reports, this would be the greatest tornado day, one day event in March for all history. from a series of powerful earthquakes sending shockwaves through Japan. That is the same area that was struck last year. There was a small tsunami in that area, and about three hours after that, another major earthquake. But we will see continent-shattering earthquakes. We're seeing now too many anomalies, especially on the New Madrid. The rest of the world is coming apart at the scene. A Clintonville, Wisconsin residents say their homes rattled after explosion-like noises woke them up last night. And city leaders are still trying to figure out just what caused it all. Police phone lines were jammed with calls from a 13-block area. Callers reported not just hearing loud booms, but rumbling in the ground that shook them right out of their homes. It sounded like somebody was dropping bombs. What we know from geologists down at UW-Madison is that this is clearly not consistent with earthquake activity. People in this community won't stop coming up to us tonight, telling us that they're still hearing this loud boom tonight, and then they feel the ground shake just a little bit. Now, this boom isn't coming up from the sky, but rather it's coming from down below. Mexico City. It comes after a magnitude 7.6 earthquake struck 120 miles east of Acapulco.
there seems to be a systematic effort yeah. to downplay the earthquakes and especially their intensity. And we're now in the uh, realm of lame excuses for everything. You know, it's, it's amazing that people just seemingly take the word of the most pathetic uh, investigative journalism that's ever been seen in the history of the world in the United States. rumblings in Clintonville early this morning. And what's causing that? Thanks. Some Clintonville residents, though, they're speculating, of course. The church's marquee reads, God is shaking our city. Let's have a revival. And tonight, there are reports of more booming sounds 80 miles away. Police in Montello are now investigating similar sounds. But so far, I don't have an explanation. We have a lot of good, reliable sources that reported this pretty much community-wide. And, you know, at this point in time, it is quite the talk of the town. There's no doubt about it. It was a loud boom, and all the windows shook. The whole house shook. It felt like my front door was being, tr like, trying to be kicked in. It was, my apartment was shaking. For the third night in a row, unexplained ground shaking has leaders in Clintonville scratching their heads. In our big story, city officials remain at a loss over what this could be. Several theories have been ruled out, including water, other utilities, even an earthquake. The city isn't ordering any evacuations, but some say they are considering leaving town. The booms began early Monday morning, continued Tuesday morning, and came back once again early this morning. The people there are on edge. Police say they've received more than 500 calls about vibrations. The ground is shaking in an unusual way. And what we're seeing is that these events continue one after another. The ground is shaking in an unusual way. The U.S. government has declared natural disaster zones across half of the country. 54 million people are affected and it's threatening to force up food prices right across the globe. This is America, land of the dry. Reservoirs evaporating, rivers barely moving, farmland cracked and parched by a persistent stubborn drought. Today, the U.S. Department of Agriculture reports almost half of all the nation's counties have been declared disasters, having endured severe drought for eight or more weeks this year. The first six months of the year were the warmest ever recorded. It's been so hot in Minnesota, even its famous lakes provide little relief, causing fish kills in at least 25 lakes. 